on the heels of thwarting Cassius Breyer's attempt to overthrow the unified government of the Dominions, the group has been visited by a man seeming to be an investigator, Dexter Handy, uh, wanting to know where Cassius is. He learns that Cassius was banished to hell, and that night, Squad 77 found themselves in a shared dream. Uh, Trudovir was able to wake up from the dream and yell out the alarm as he saw a voider leaving the area of his room. And that's where we left off. After the destruction of Midian. After the unraveling of the fugue. After the fall of the unbeheld and the reconciliation of the five dominions. The Jericho organization has expanded and spread itself thin guarding the breaches and investigating anything that comes through. This Dungeons and Dragons game is the story of one of those teams. Let's begin. basement of Jericho Squad 77's headquarters in the Second Dominion uh, in this, on the outskirts of the city of Isordorex. Chertovir is down here. I don't know if you can see my arrow. It's down here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm and, standing by my bedroom door. Yeah. Uh, coming out the door, you had just screamed to wake everybody up. Okay, everybody roll for initiative. Okay, rolling for initiative. I have 23 total. Where's my total? There we go. That's How much did I get? Oh man, I got seven. Okay. I got a seventeen. All right. And if you use real dice, well, then I'll type it in. Oh, plus two. Yeah. So we got seven. I get up. Uh, Ralph got twelve. Twelve. I got a four plus three initiative, so I got seven. Yeah. Okay. Jonathan got eighteen. Okay. I would say Jonathan has an excess of initiative. <laughs> There's no such thing. You're either first to the trash pile or you're last. Yep. Musette, uh, you're up. You um, you heard you heard uh, Jonathan yelling, "Hey, hey, we're being attacked! Everybody, wake up!" And uh, you sort of uh, rustle out of your bed over down there, and the, you're in the lower left corner in the purple room. Grab my liar. Okay, so is there any way for me to be able to tell, like make a perception check as to what kind of danger is out in the, um, in our like middle living area or? Well, are, are, you, uh, are you going out the door or are you just listening? I would rather listen. I don't would I don't want to just wander out and you know like doo -doo -doo, and then immediately yeah. get killed. Avoided. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you hear you hear some sort of okay, muffled so uh, shouting and 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 scuffling and stuff like feet okay. shuffling around. Okay. So I get close to my door and I'm just kind of listening. Okay. Um, and like I said, is there any way for me to kind of like make a perception check or see like uh yeah. is anyone near me if you take if you're taking time to make a perception check that will use up your action for this turn okay so i will make a perception check then okay yeah roll the perception check uh so i got a 16. oh okay yeah so with the 16 it does kind of sound like there's somebody there there's a, a person like right outside your door uh you're not really sure who that is it seemed like when Chertovir was yelling, he was yelling from around uh, where his bedroom is. So, 
he probably isn't right by your door. Uh, mm -hmm. That's probably somebody else. It, is her door closed? Uh, yeah. Uh, for okay. right now it is. Your door is open. Right, right. So oh. can I can I yell out again? <laughs> well, uh, no, it's no, not okay. a, not not, a, not, a, not a, yeah. Okay, sorry. So that was my turn, right? Uh, yeah. You you still have bonus action and movement if you want to do those. And Jonathan will be next. Yep. I'm trying to hold my spot so I know where I'm casting the spell. Oh, okay. So it's a remeasure. <laughs> okay. So. And then Zoe after Jonathan. Uh, Opening the door does not count as an action, does it? No, you can you could do that with your movement. I think it'll Four. It, might, it, it might slow down your movement a little bit. Well, say take ten feet away from your movement. Oh, okay. Well, I was only going to move four. Um, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and use Misty Step uh, while I'm opening the door, uh, okay. moving over here closer to like, what is this? Like a computer? It's this table yeah, on the yeah, opposite that, end of the. the that, that's where that's where uh, Bentley's Amiga computer is. That he okay. uses to, to calculate the time difference between between the the um, the dominions. Okay, um, because that would give me a pretty good area to to see what's going on. Okay, so you're gonna okay. you're gonna misty step over to that. So, yes, one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Here we go. Let's do here, since you took ten okay. away for the. All right. So you see, uh, and you've, you've fought these things before. You see, so this sort of dead-eyed-looking man uh, standing next to your door, uh, kind of wondering how you got past him. All right, and uh, then next will be Jonathan. All right, I'm casting confusion centered. Can you see my arrow, my zero foot mm -hmm. arrow? Um, so that's 10 foot radius. All right, so confusion. The spell assaults and twists creatures' minds, spawning delusions and provoking uncontrolled action. Each creature in a 10 foot radius sphere centered on a point you choose within the range must succeed on a wisdom saving throw when you cast a spell or be affected by it. So because I'm centered here, that's all this stuff. Does that in, oh. even include any? Even includes the uh, the righteous, the two wormy looking guys down at the bottom. Yep. Wow. Yep. Uh, and and one, so what happens? One Nullianac and two Voiders. And so what happens is the affected targets can't take reactions and must roll a D10 at the start of each of its turn to determine its behavior. And then there's a little chart. So you might. I don't know if you want to pull it up or just have me do it. Do they have a saving throw for this? Uh, it's a wisdom saving throw of 15. The two uh, voiders fail. Uh, one of them got a 15, the, one of the Gekka Geks. The first number one, he passed. And number two failed. And Nullianac. Plus five. Plus five. Passed. And the righteous. Failed and failed. Okay, so uh, Rob, I thought that the uh, the two righteous were also in that circle. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's close enough. Yeah. Okay. It's not so... like it's a video game and it won't affect them if we don't get the picture right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So what did we say? The both of the voiders failed. One of the Gekagex failed. I mean, one of the yeah. And uh, the righteous both failed, and the Nullian Act passed. Perfect. All right. So they are confused. Well, so Brand, I'm I'm sorry. I was just trying to work out That's all fine. the logistical stuff. So what happens to them now? So it's actually kind of funny. At the beginning of each, they can't take reactions for okay. one, and at the beginning of their turn, they each roll a D10 and their actions are determined by what they roll in the D10. Oh. Um, I don't even know if you want me to read the chart out or do it. There's a little chart. No, I think it'll be more fun if we just, if we just discover. Yeah. <laughs> a, okay, so and do you- I when, Jonathan when get, it out. Like, they might attack each other. They might do nothing. Okay, knows. so when we get to that, I'll have you roll for them. Okay. Okay. Um, 
And, and so then that's... I am okay. slipping back into my trash pile. I'm trying to... Okay. Oh, back to the... Okay. I'm going back to bed. My work is done. <laughs> <laughs> you guys figure it out. <laughs> yeah. You guys figure it out. I've done my part. <laughs> okay. And so you opened the door and did that. And then, and then uh, closed the door again and went back? Oh, yeah. I was by the door and I had a symbol. Um, so I had assumed I was looking out last time. Yeah. And the door and I was think already last open. Last time you said you were invisible, didn't you? The symbol was on there. I honestly did not remember and wasn't going to make an issue of it. It sounds like. Okay. Well, let me see if my spells marked up. I did have a third level spell marked up. So I probably was. Yeah. I think you were too. I think it was something you But I am no remember. longer in, invisible. Oh, because you because cast of, a spell. Yeah, because yeah, I cast true. confusion. So Okay. All right, and you closed your door and went back to bed? Well, I wasn't... If the door's, like, just cracked, I'm not going to make noise oh, okay. and distract them. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to stealthily as I can slip back to bed. Yeah. Really, I'm just trying to get to the highest point in the room okay. in case somebody comes in after me. I look judgingly at his closing bedroom door like that guy. <laughs> you just wait. All right. Um, and next up is uh, Zoe. Okay. Well, you guys woke me up out of a nice sound sleep, so I'm ticked off. So I've decided to do uh, <laughs> just go postal here. I am going to do uh, automatic pistol. All right. I'm glad Sorry. I closed the door. Which... Ma oh, Mama needs her sleep, baby. There we go. Uh, all right, so do I, I, I hit the damage one first or the hit? Oh, are you so you open the door and you're attacking that voider that's uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're not your... waking me up. No, okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, you roll to the to hit, okay, first, what I get 13. Uh, oh, against the uh, the voider, uh huh. Did I get him? That, that actually, that does hit, yeah. Woohoo! And the yeah. damage. Let's see what I got here. Damage is eight. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. And I can I do a bonus action as well? Yes. Oh, how bad did I hit him? Is that pretty bad? Uh, yeah, you, you, you kind of winged him a little bit. I mean, okay. he's, he's, he's hurt and he's looking at you, but uh, All right. he, he doesn't seem to be like flinching or showing emotion. All right, I'm going to do spiritual weapon as a bonus action. Okay. And where are you going to put it? I'm I'm right in front of me. Okay. Um, yeah, you can you can set it down somewhere that's far away from you so it can attack like remote um, enemies. Well, I'm I'm mad at him. He woke me up. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, you can put it behind. I want to go too. back to bed too. Yeah, you, if you put it behind him, you'll it'll be flanking him. Uh, okay, let's put it behind him. Then it'll have advantage. I think it gets an attack on its when you first summon it too. Okay. Well, my uh, to hit is twenty one. What does your uh, what does your uh, spiritual weapon look like? Uh, an ankh, ironically. Oh, okay. yeah. Ironically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my hit was twenty one. Oh yeah, that's definitely. I mean, a that's definitely a hit. And uh, damage was six. Okay. So that uh, kind of sunk right in between his shoulder blades. Woohoo! And uh, he he's uh, wow. kind of he's kind of limping a little bit, or or staggering. I mean. Okay. Uh, and now it is the voider's turn. I guess I could stay where I am because I can okay. either go forward or duck back into the room. Yeah, because it's still your turn. It's going to be his turn pretty soon. Okay, so uh, number one, Voider. There we go. He's going to move down here. Hmm. And number two, Voider. Okay, Brant, roll the ten-sided die to determine what ha what Voider number two does. Here we go. Three is the creature doesn't move or take actions this turn. Okay, and let's see. So that's that one. Can you ping these? I guess I wouldn't know necessarily which one's which. 
So one moved down, uh, two got uh, confused and just sat in, in one place. And he got stabbed in the back by some unseen force, so he's gonna lurch forward and attack Zoe. He's going to claw at Zoe. Does a 14 hit? Or wait, 16. Does a 16 hit? Okay, my armor class is 14, so yeah. You take seven, uh, seven damage from his claws. Okay. Number four, Brant, can you roll the 10 sided die for number four? And for same thing, doesn't move or take actions this turn. Okay. This and, is boring. Uh, uh, Chernobyl, you notice that he seems to be holding uh, your your some of your equipment, your bag, the one that is holding your um, your Boston bowl. Yeah. He's got it in his hands, and he's running up this way. Um. So I'm going to. I'm going to uh, cast a... Wait, it's not your turn still. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's like, hey, that's my bowl. I don't know you. Longing glance at your... <laughs> you're going to cast a longing glance at your retreating bowl. Yeah. <laughs> that's my purse. <laughs> Somebody stop that man. Sorry. Ralph, uh, it it's was. your turn. Uh, so I'm waking up. I'm awake. I'm gonna. How do I? I can't turn around. You should be able to click him. There's oh, his little is. thingy. Yeah. There we go. All right. And I suppose I'm just coming out the door, and I have my moon sword ready, okay. just in case. But everyone seems to be far away. Yeah, there's a voider that's uh, still that's still 15 feet away from you. Yeah. And an Alien Act so, that's 20 feet. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh... Did you put on your... Uh... Well, I, yeah, I mean, I guess you probably... My, still... clo my cloak and elven shoes? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, Ralph never takes his clothes off. Okay. <laughs> well, it's hard to do that with that hand around your body. I just, I, Ralph just lives in his filth. Okay. <laughs> so those shoes, yeah. No one could see or hear me anyway. Elder's okay. Blast to this guy. Oh, I can okay. smell you, though. To, to the voider or the Nullian act? The voider, I Th think. That's a voider. Yeah. Okay. Void, okay. Uh, roll the this voider, right? This guy right here. Right here. I, you, doesn't matter. You can't see. Can you yeah. see that right there? No. The one oh, yeah, that's about yeah, that one. Yep, Rob got it. Yeah, the one that's puking. Yep, there we go. Okay, roll to hit. <laughs> roll to hit. Ah, damn it. Okay, so that's eleven plus what? Hit. So it's a. Uh, Whatever your yeah. It's gonna plus be set six. six seventeen. That hits. That hits. Okay, and then you gotta and, tell and him that. Do you have more than one? Uh, do you have more than one beam on your Eldritch Blast? I think you. Uh, two beams. Yeah, so you can you can either have them both hit the same guy, or go in different directions. Nah, hit the same guy. Okay, and it's, yeah, uh, hit one d ten. One d ten plus three damage. Yeah. Uh, so Twelve, thirteen for the second beam. Okay, and that's yeah, thirteen damage. Oh no, 13 to hit. 13 hits. How much yeah. was the damage on the first one? Four Seven. plus three. Seven. Okay. There so that goes. was for the first hit. Okay, and the second one hit also. And then the second hit. It was the exact same thing, right? Six plus three is nine. Nine. Okay. Yeah, that one is uh, pretty hurt. He's not uh, not dead, but he's uh, he took a couple. you took a couple of big chunks out of him. Good yeah. job. Cool. All right. And uh, are you going to stay where you're at then? Oh, let me get out of show to way. Yeah, you're right in my line of fire. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to okay. I'm going to just come up here up one. Okay. Cool. Do I have a bonus action? There. I guess not, do I? 
And for Bentley's turn, he um, he did not wake up. Um, so next is the righteous. Okay, Brent, can you roll for these these guys? The ten sided die. Whoever that was, um, the creature uses its action to make a melee attack against a randomly determined creature within its reach. If there's no creature within its reach, the creature does nothing this turn. It only has one creature in its reach, and it's the other, uh, other righteous. There we go. It's just going to so chomp he's, his he's buddy. Make a, make a tentacle attack. So that hits. See, I don't do damage. I get other people to do my damage for me. Yeah. <laughs> so he takes six damage, and he needs to see, check, see if he's grappled. Oh, by the tentacle? Yeah. It's definitely a Jonathan it, it, spell. It's not, it's not grappled, but he, he did take six damage. So it kind of, it's sque squeezing the life out of him. Okay, uh, the next one, okay, roll the 10 sided die for the other guy. I, he just doesn't do anything. Oh, he Creature just doesn't there? move or take actions this turn, yeah. Okay. Wow, all right. He's just taking it. Yeah. I'm confused. Okay, can you roll also, well, actually we'll do Gekka Gek one. gonna go right here oh jesus and attack okay. ralph <laughs> hey uh-oh so he rolls with disadvantage because of your cloak right on um, ralph stinks adding to the confusion yeah. <laughs> yeah. actually yeah it just might be the cloak okay does a 12 hit for your armor class his armor class yeah. is 15 Okay, thank you. Yeah, so that one doesn't hit. And thank he's you. Got two claw attacks. Seventeen. So one Yeesh. one claw attack hits. Ralph takes six damage from a claw uh, that just kind of rakes across his arm. Okay. Ow. Do I get a reaction? Uh, yeah. If you want to do a reaction, you can. I want to do a reaction of hellish rebuke. Okay. Fourteen. Okay. Oh, dexterity 14. Yeah, so he failed. So how much Sweet. damage does he take? And that is a 5d10. So is it this one? Mm -hmm. 5d10. 32? Yeah. How many times is that? Four? Yeah. Wow. It's 40. Okay. All right. Wow. Yeah, the, you, you caught that uh, Gekka Gek on fire, and you can start to see that its its skin is burning, and you can, since its skin is translucent, you can start to see the uh, the, the fluids inside of it boiling, and uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's screeching and writhing around. Nice. Brent, we have dinner. Yeah. Cooking, so. <laughs> we have right, a barbecue Jonathan, tonight, yeah. honey. Dinner's All cooking, right. so... And Brent, did you roll the ten-sided die for the other Gekka Gek? I did. I got a six. He just loses his turn. Oh, okay. Man, you've gotten a six a lot of times. On that. <laughs> well, it's one, and then two through six, seven, eight, and nine and ten. So it's the most oh, common. Oh, I see. Okay. Any two through six is. Got yeah. It. Okay. Um. So it's the now least it's interesting of the next turns. He's going to go right here. Whoa, okay. Getting a lot of targets. And he can't really reach anybody, so he's just going to wait there. And this one is going to go here. Wow. Well, is that... I forget, that's a... Is that a... That's a chair, like a bar stool. Ralph, we're in trouble. <laughs> so he's going to go right there, and then this one is going to go here. Oh my god. Okay. 
but never fear, and now it's Bustle's turn. And Bustle did not wake up. Okay, now it's Chertovir's turn. All right. Um, I'd like to know, what's the number of the voider that has my Boston Bowl that was running away? Oh, uh, five. He's five? Up by, up by the stairs. Dang, I don't want to lose that. Um, but I'm getting surrounded here with Ralph, so I'm going to shoot a level four Numa bullet at the Gekka Gek. Oh, okay. Uh, Gekka Gek number one, I guess. Yeah, and that one, uh, that one is writhing in pain, so it looks like it's not going to take much uh, to finish it off. Okay. Well, uh, well, level four Numa bullet, and I only have one slot for level four cast okay. and it says here that this uh will on a hit the target takes 1d10 force damage an additional d10 per spell level so this is fourth level so uh, per spell level after the after because like if, it, if it's a level three spell i forget mm -hmm. what level it is then it would only be another d10 one more d10. Okay. uh so i'm rolling to hit and i get 11 to hit oh okay uh, is that it? 11 misses. Okay. Uh, so I don't I get to roll any damage. Because it's writhing around on the ground, you can have advantage. Okay. Let me try hitting again. And this time, I got a 21. Woo! <laughs> which means I get to roll the damage uh, 1d10 twice. So let's see. That is a 7 plus 3, 10. Okay. okay. Ten damage on the first roll, and uh, thirteen damage on the second. Um, uh, you're yeah. If you click on it, it it may automatically be putting the two rolls together. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. In that case, so, it's a thirteen it, damage. It doesn't. I mean, it only had five hit points. Okay. So I guess I finished it yeah, off. You, you killed it. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. It's, it's uh, steaming on the ground right now. Nice. <laughs> I blew its head off. Yeah. Well, well, he blew something off. <laughs> yeah. It may have been a head. <laughs> All right. So we're, we're starting to open up a hole in this surrounding wave of enemies. Okay. And uh, Pancake is also still asleep. <sighs> Are, are they all right. taking Ambien or something? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're back to... I'm rolling their perception checks. Oh, I, I forgot to ask something. One. I forgot to ask something, Ryan. Do I still get a chance to move? Yeah, uh, you can try. Yeah, you could probably, if you want to step through the steaming goo of the Nully. Oh, or the, uh, I'm getting a big X saying no. No, What's that's just... The, that's oh. the just dead that All right. Dead. Yeah, that I'm standing yeah. on the Gekka Gek's head facing <laughs> Nullianak number okay. one. There's this guy next to you also. Yeah, he's, oh, he's yeah. facing Nullianak number one. Okay. okay, okay, hang on. I'll move over here on top of this table. Okay? I'm moving on top of this table here. <laughs> so it, you can have a clear attack. Oh, okay. Thank you. So the other person didn't wake, wake up either? No. Okay. And it'll be Musette's turn after you're done. There you go. Right there. Rotary wheel? Yeah. Uh, there. Okay. All right. So, Musette, it's your turn. Okay. So, uh, this voider here that's attacking Zoe, I am going to just go ahead and shoot him. Um, All right. right. He was a voider. Yep, rolled the hit. one attacking Zoe. Okay, yeah. Um, I got a natural twenty. Um, oh. Okay. To hit the twenty-five. Yeah, roll the roll your damage and then double it because that's a critical hit. Okay, it's two d six plus three. Okay. So six and two is eight plus three is eleven. So twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Yeah. So you. You hit him right in the. You blow a big hole through his chest, and it looks down, and it has. It seems to be missing its heart, and <laughs> he uh, what falls heart? over. He's dead. Oh wow! Thank Critical you. hit indeed. Yeah. Okay. Yay! Good job. 
<laughs> that was um, badass. And then real fast, can I uh, for a bonus action? Yeah. I want to go ahead and um, and uh, do bardic inspiration for Zoe. Okay. Um, okay, what, gains what, uh, inspiration. Yeah, it think. says that the creature can add it to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Okay, there we go. So we'll remember okay, that it's for when it's Zoe's turn, which will be pretty soon. Uh, cool. And, Yay. All right. Are you, are you going to move or stay where you're at? Uh, I'm going to just stay where I'm at, turn around, because everything else is... Oops, I'm clicking the wrong screen. Okay. <laughs> Next is uh, Jonathan's turn. All right. I am going to move to the door. Okay. You see that there's another voider that seems to be making his way to the stairs, and uh, you've confused everybody else that's, like, near you. Well, in that case... Uh, I hate coming out into the open. I might change my plan. This is the one that's running? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use a bonus action to summon my Hound of Illomen. Oh. Right there. Okay. Uh, so it's a hound. It's basically, yeah, like a little shadow hound. It's ethereal. Okay. Um, and is he going to attack it? He will attack it. Um, but also there's other stuff. Like it gets disadvantage on its saving throws. It, it, it's, it technically rolls its own initiative. I don't know if you wanted to have it go on my turn or... Oh, um... Yeah, let's just have it go on your turn. Okay. Just for because it's hard to on this yeah. D&D Beyond thing, it's hard to add stuff in. in you know, and I don't, I don't know why Fifth Edition does so many things that like you summon and it has its own initiative. Yeah, it's like let's make it more complicated for everybody. Yeah. Uh, can't make opportunity attacks. Okay, so before it attacks, I'm going to cast Mind Dart on this thing. Okay. And so that's a DC 15 intelligence saving throw. Uh, but because the Hound of Illum Man is next to it, it gets disadvantage on the saving throw. Oh, his intelligence is already minus two. Well, that was. <laughs> that seems a bit redundant. Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so he got a seven. All right. He takes 12, I rolled max damage, 12 wow. psychic damage. Wow. And has a minus 1d4 to save his next saving throw. Okay. Um, which, and then the, whoop, sorry. The, I'll have the Hound of Illo Man attempt to trip him. Oh, okay, it can do um, that. As it, Direwolf, yeah, it uses direwolf stats. Um, oh, I see. So, so yeah, so it's like uh, attacking him and trying to pull him down. Yeah. Okay. But, and you'll have the minus 1d4 on the safety C. Okay, um, roll the hit. Eight. Uh, that misses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's pretty good. Um,. Well, let me let me check something with Dire Wolf. So Sorry. Be next. Okay. So yep, that's it. Okay. All right. Well, that was pretty good. He is uh, he's hurt pretty badly uh, in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> this and, is uh, all in our mind. Zoe. Yeah, that's true. Zoe is next. Okay. So let's see. And we can go six spaces, is that correct? Uh, yeah, if it's okay. 30, if your okay. movement is 30. Okay. Um, I think what I want to do, since pretty much everybody is And as a crazy, bonus action, you can move your spiritual weapon and have it attack somebody. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about doing. What okay. I'll do is I'll try to help the boys out on the other side here. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Five. Let me turn myself around here. Do the hokey pokey. All right. Um, speaking okay. of hokey pokey, um, I'm trying to keep things simple today, so I'm just going to go with another regular attack. Um, since I'm 
Standing right here. Let's hmm. let's go with the spear attack. Okay. Spirit that I've got my spear plus three here. And okay. so roll to hit. <gasps> Twenty-six. Yeah, that, that definitely hit. Okay, and for damage. Eleven. Okay. Yeah, he, uh, he, you, you spear him, and uh, he, it, it uh, flinches and starts to turn around. Oh man! All right. Well, can I move my little doohickey here? How do, do you guys well, move that? It's or more do you like he's not really turning his whole body around. He's just kind of trying to move, turn his hand to look at you. Okay. Well, what about my? Can I move my thingy here? Yeah, yeah, you, okay. yeah. As a bonus action, you can move that in. All right, I'll do that. Do that as a bonus action. Oh, okay. And it's gonna attack the same guy. Sure. Okay. Okay. And roll the hit. Got a twelve. Uh, that misses. Okay. All right, um, and that's, I'm guessing that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Okay, and now the Voiders. He is going to go... here and attack uh, Chirubir. Huh. He's looking really beat up, but uh, he's going to attack you anyway. Okay. It is going to claw at you. Wow, natural 20. Oh! Oh! Kill any smalls. Yeah. Okay, what do I take? So, uh, wow, it max damage. So, 10, you take 20 damage from (laughs) from his. 20 damage? Yeah. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. There's that no disadvantage on that or anything. Like there, there, Chodavir doesn't have anything to soften <laughs> that blow. No. Oh man, I'm down to 23. Okay, it's all good. I still got 23 points. All right. Um, and vo- Voider number two. Where is he at? Oh, he's confused. Brent, how long does that last? Uh, one minute. Oh, okay. So we'll make another roll for Voider number two. Two. Oh, yeah, still two through six takes no action. Okay. It's boring. As clarification, and I probably shouldn't be saying this, but I don't I don't know if you're making they get saved at the end of their turn. Oh, they do? Every turn, yeah. The three should okay. be dead, right? Yeah, three's dead. Yeah, three is dead. I, I just fixed that. Okay, and um so void or two should we'll make another save then. What was the save again? Uh, 15 wisdom, but it's at the end of their turn. Uh, yeah. Okay, he's just sitting there not doing anything. And he got, uh, 12. Okay. And number four, can you roll your 10 sided die again? Eight. Uh, use this. It's a or action to make a melee attack against a randomly determined creature within reach. The so creatures within two, reach, it does nothing. Yeah, there's only two creatures in reach, so let's see. One through three will be Jonathan, and, and uh, four, five, and six will be the other voider. Uh, it's He's attacking Jonathan. It's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to claw at you. He attacks you in his confusion. Oh my god, he got another natural. That one got a natural 20. Wow. It's uh, rare that Jonathan gets hit at all. Such a small target. Yeah. It, well, and, and a lot of times people don't even realize he's a threat. So they have to be confused to know a threat. <laughs> uh, you take 18 uh, damage. This is dumb. I shouldn't have cast this spell at all. Yeah. I see. I knew I shouldn't have come out in the oven. (laughs) 
And this is what you get when you come out in the open. It's Ralph's turn. Oh wait, no, there are more Voiders. Never I take that back. There's Voider <laughs> 4, we just did. And number 5 is the one running up the stairs. Ah, oh, shit. Really? Wow. Okay, huh. there we go. Okay, and he is uh, off the map because he's upstairs. Uh, I get an attack of opportunity from the wolf. Oh, yeah, okay. Roll, roll to hit with that. Uh, 60, 21. Oh, that definitely hits. Yeah. And then he has, at the dire wolf, he has to make a DC 13 strength throw or be knocked prone. And because I zapped him with that mind dart, he gets a minus 1d4 to that saving throw. Okay, so that makes it a three. So he got knocked down. Yep. So he did not run up the stairs. Okay, how oh. much damage how much damage does he take? Oh, I think it's 2d6. Plus 3. Uh 13. Oh, he's dead. He drops Woo-hoo! the bag with uh Trigger's stuff in it on the ground. So we'll leave pretty- him on the map for right now just because he's got Trigger stuff. All right, and the hound disappears because its target is gone. Oh, okay. Now it's um, Ralph's turn. And your cloak's not working now. Why? Uh, because you got hit. So it, it's uh, it's not working for the rest of this turn, and it'll come back up again at the beginning of the next round. All right, well, I'm right here now. Okay. And I would like to cast the Arms of Hadar. Okay, uh, and that is, does that one take up like a ten foot square area? Uh, within ten feet of you, uh, you invoke the power of Dar, Dark Hunger, uh, Trindle, Dark Energy erupts from you and batter all creatures within ten feet of you. Each creature that uh, in that area must make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, the target takes two d six uh, necrotic damage and can't take reactions until its next turn. Is that creatures you choose or anybody? Uh, each creature, uh, wait. All creatures within 10 feet. Okay. Does that include Chardavir? Are you still next yeah, to Yeah, because I'm, I'm like 10 feet away. <laughs> oh, are you? How many spots? How, how many? It's two. Uh, yeah, each, two spots each, right each two, square is five feet. The, yeah, but it's a radius. So okay. that means that it's two here, you know, two here, two oh, here. Don't necrotic well, damage me, bro. Here. And then, then, bam! I go there and do it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> there. So, Rob, can you draw a ten-foot diameter circle? Yeah. Let's see. Wow, it's gonna even hit that guy. Okay. That's Woo-hoo. pretty huge. I, b- I believe so. That's fine. Okay, if I go up one more. Yeah. There we go. So Ralph, yeah, it said diameter at first. Oh yeah, sorry, I meant radius. I mean, it's radius, right? Is it radius or diameter? Oh, God dang it, my thing went away. Um, uh, it's, it's radius because it's centered on you. It says ten feet from within ten feet of you. Yeah. Okay, so that's a radius. So that's going to hit uh, two Nolian X and the uh, Gek Gek. And one of the uh, one of the two um, worm guys, righteous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Hit okay. the holy so, weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's not taking any damage. It's a spectral spiritual weapon. Yeah, if it's spectral, it shouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and do your thing. There's no rules for it. But... Five d six. So I roll it six times. Strength fourteen. Strength oh, okay. fourteen. All right. So Nully and X. I'll start with them. Two and three. This die is rolling really well. Uh, so that one, um, Nully and X two passed. 
It also says at higher levels, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of second level or higher, the damage increases by 1d6 for each slot level above the first. So what level did you cast it at? Fourth. Do you have fourth level spells? Yeah. Yeah, so it should be 5d6. Okay, so it only in Act 2 passed. And let's see. Um, oh, no, number three failed. And um, the Gekka Gek 2. This is a strength saving throw of 14, you said? Yes. He passed. And the Righteous passed. Well, crap. Well, do they take half damage if they if they uh, pass? On a successful save, the creature takes half damage but suffers no other effect. Okay. All right. Yeah, roll your damage. Okay. Two. There we go. Okay. 22. 22 damage. All right, so this guy takes 11, because he takes half. And then the other one takes 22 damage. And Gek Gek 2 takes 11. And the uh, Righteous... Number two takes eleven. He is, even though he took half damage, he's hurt really bad. Um, okay, yep, that's uh, uh, and so the the ones that failed are they grappled? The the Nullianac, is he is he like being held down? Doesn't say anything like that. That they're they can uh, take reactions. Yeah. Oh, they can't take reactions until his next turn. Oh, okay. All right then. Well, that was a pretty good turn. Uh, Ralph, are you going to move anywhere, or are you going to stay where you're at? Where are you? Uh, I, I'm, I'm right here in the center. Oh, okay. I want to run up and grab Shodavir's bag. Okay, so you ran right through the middle of those of all those guys? Yeah. Because you're going to take attacks of opportunity from every one of those guys that you passed. <laughs> Except for the one that doesn't have any reactions. Which are the confused ones, yeah. Yeah. So the, I guess, voider number one will be the first one. Oh, he got a natural 20. So the voider that had my bag or my Boston bowl, he's dead, right? He's dead by the stairs. Yeah. Okay. So wait, I got hit? Yeah, you got hit by the first guy. So that's five, six, seven. You take 14 damage from that first voider that you ran past. Okay, so, and then Nully in Act 2 gets to attack you. He's going to slash at you with his knife. 15 to hit. Does that does 15 hit? Uh, I think uh, 15 hits. Okay. So you take 9 damage from him. And how, and you're going all the way to the bag? Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, move up to where the to where that uh, voider with the X is on him. Okay. Uh. Right here. Right. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. You can. There you go. Okay. So now I have Shodavir's bag. Um. Yeah. I'd say uh, as a bonus action, you could scoop that up. Okay. Cool. Okay. You got uh, your bag, Shodavir. Thank you. And uh, Bentley is going to try to wake up. <laughs> he, did, he did not wake up. <laughs> Bentley's okay. still asleep. All right. Jeez. All right. Now, the, the righteous Brant, can you roll a, a d10 for him? And I'll, I'll uh, do the saving throw again. All right, the first one is a six, so that's once again no actions. Okay. Second one is seven. 
And so that's the he randomly attacks the closest uh, character. Okay, he attacks the other uh, righteous. He does a tentacle attack back at the other one that attacked him, and he hits. <laughs> Uh, I think he killed it. Yay! It's 11. To, yeah, he kills it. Bye, worm guy. Yeah, so the one on the left is dead. And the one on the right is hurt really badly. And he gets to... What's the save again for that? 15. 15 wisdom? wisdom. Yep. Uh, he fails. All right. Whoa. Yeah. Gekka Gek number one is dead. Number two is going to. Um, I guess you're going to roll for him now, Brant. What's he going to do? I got a four, so they owe nothing. Okay, he just sits there and he yep. wants to make a 15 wisdom saving throw. He got a yep. 17, so he's not confused anymore. Oh no! Oh. So he turns around and looks at you and. Uh, does he still have my spear sticking in him? Uh, well, if you chose to leave it there, I guess. I thought I just imagined you just stabbed him with it. No, it's one of those Lord of the Rings things, you know, when you stick it through him and then he goes, and moves himself okay. up. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's got a spear sticking out of him. And he looks over at you and he's really mad. Uh, and uh, his, his. Of course, that was top, his favorite shirt. The top of his head is made out of two hands that look like they're praying, and you start to see electricity crackle in between the two hands. And uh, he... And this uh, energy, this light energy comes towards you. Oh, dear. Does a 12 hit? Uh, my armor is 14. You manage to duck out of the way, and it shoots past you. So, um, so the other one, let's see, number two, he is going to... Uh, run up towards Ralph. Who is? This Nullianac right here. Uh, and he, pull, he pulls <laughs> out his knives and he makes two knife attacks against you. Bitch. 13? Um, that, that misses, I think, right? It misses. Okay, and a natural 20. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. So that's, um, <laughs> seven, 14 damage. Do I get to use my Misty Escape? What's Misty Escape? Uh, uh, once per short rest, when you take damage, you can use your reaction. Oh, I already used my reaction. Yeah. Turn invisible. Yeah, but you almost killed a Gekka Gek single-handedly with that last one, so that was a pretty good use of your reaction. But yeah, I, so you took you took. Um, are you still alive? Are you still? Yeah, conscious? I'm still alive. I'm right. still alive. Okay. Left, I have twenty left. Oh. Short rest as a bonus they're, action. They're gonna have to try harder. Okay, Nullianek. Uh, and I can't do anything against this three. guy. Oh, okay. What was? Oh, this guy—he's hurt, and he just can't uh, use reactions, but he can still do stuff. So he is also going to head over towards Ralph. Ugh. Ooh. And he's going to do two knife attacks. Um, Twelve is a miss, and. 15? Does a 15 hit? 15 hits. Okay. So this is not like going to be double damage. Or Let's see. 8. You take 8 damage. He uh, slashes you slashes you up good. And Bustle is going to is getting ready to save the day. <laughs> is he? Bustle, Bustle does not wake up. Oh man! Okay. Chertovir, it's your turn. All right. Hey Chertovir, so, I got your bag. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. That's been in my family for generations. That Boston Bowl. Thank you, Ralph. So I am going to cast third level chromatic. Yeah, no, actually, scratch that. 
I'm going to cast a uh, third level magic missile. Okay. And since this is third level, it says at higher levels, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of second level or higher, the spell creates one more dart for each slot above the first. Oh, I see. So it would be five. Yeah. yeah. So okay. I'm going to create five glowing darts of magical force. And uh, let's see if I hit. One moment. Let me just cast the slot here. You, you don't have you don't to see have if you to hit. See if you, yeah. Yeah, oh. they, 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 magic missiles hit automatically. Nice. You just have to decide who you're attacking and roll the damage. Okay, so I'm attacking the Nullianac right next to me to my uh, left. Oh, okay. Okay. Point so I'm going range. point blank range. That's right. So I'm going to cast magic missile. Let's see. And it's five, so I'm going to do three on him and two in the voider in front of me. So first okay. dart. Right. He's on top of it. Oh, oh yeah. shoot, that's not it. Hang on. I I did the wrong thing. So magic missile is one plus four plus one. I got two points of damage on the Nolianak for the first one. I've got five points of damage on the second dart. Okay. And the third dart on the Nolianak will give me another three points of damage. Okay. So he gets okay. kind of pelted in the back by by some darts, ma magical darts. Right. Okay, and then the voider that's right in front of you is taking the other two? Yes. So the voider gets four damage from one of the darts, plus the other one hits him with plus uh, two at uh, two other points. And that's exactly how much it took to kill him. So voider yeah. is, is dead. Nice. All right. Put that in your bag and smoke it. You have bonus actions and movement if you want to do any of that. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to move over here behind okay, that, that other Nullian. Hmm? That Nullianette gets an attack of opportunity if you move past him. Oh. Okay. It's okay. You well, can still do it. It's just you take okay. a chance. Sure. But, yeah. So he, he slashes at you with his knife. Okay. My uh, armor class is 13. Yeah, so he hits. Uh, he got a 20. Not a natural 20, just a regular 20. Mm hmm And that's uh, seven damage. You can take okay. a big slash on your uh, rope. Oh, boy. I got 16 points. Okay. All right, it's like, ugh. Yeah. And next up is Pancake. You can do it, Pancake. No, you can't. Pancake oh, no. is still asleep. Why do we pay these people to be in the store? I have been trying to get rid of them this whole time. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and now it's Musette's turn. OK, uh, so I actually I have a like a logistics type of question about uh, this cell here okay so uh, a cube of five feet on each side does uh okay so like does that mean it's just like one square basically is it cloud and, and it daggers? fills up the square yeah yeah i, I yeah, forget it, just, I it, it fills up one one square of of uh, space okay uh but, but it is a but, mic uh, but, but creatures don't even can't even save or or dodge it in any way. It just uh, it just hurts okay. them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cast it. Uh, it says three. Hold on, though. Let's see. Range is sixty feet. Do I have to move closer if I want this uh, specific square with the what is this guy here, Joe? He's uh, everything should be within sixty gek -gek? in the room. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the Gekka Gek and the uh, and. It looks like there's also a Nolianac that are oh, like. Oh, you want to put like it like in, in, on in top between of each other? Them? Yeah. 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 I think yep. if it was okay. if it was a square like this, right, it would hit both of them. Like, yeah, they right look like they're kind of like on top of each other. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cast it. Um, it looks like it's at a wait level three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or second level. Second level. Um, how much? You, I think you just roll damage on that. I remember that being it's, a spell that seems unfair because it, uh, it yep. just 
automatically hurts, hurts them. Okay, a creature takes D, 4d4 slashing damage when it enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. Yeah, so they don't, they so. won't take damage right now, but when their turn starts, they will. Oh, okay, so later I gotta do 4d4. Yeah. Copy that. Okay. Well, when it's cast, isn't that the first time they're entering the cloud? Well, I, I think entering means like walking into it. Or if they start their turn. And, you know, yeah, they, yeah, just like that. There we go. Yeah, like that. Thank you. Okay, and now it's Jonathan's turn. All right, I'm going to move to here. You've got a voider attacking you right there. No, no, I do not. <laughs> what, what happened to you? Where did he go? I'm under the table, I guess. <laughs> Okay. I can move uh, one more. It's not. So can a can a confused voider take an attack of opportunity? Nope. They do not get reactions. Okay. He just goes like, huh? Yep. Um, and <laughs> then I'm gonna use a bonus action and three sorcery points to cast or to summon my Hound of Illomen. Oh. This there okay. All right. So that's right there. He's back with a vengeance. And then I, as Jonathan, uh, one down right there. Yeah. Okay. And so then I'm going to cast Mind Dart or Mind Sliver. <clears throat> yeah, mine, I don't know. Whatever the cantrip is that does the mind thing. So it's okay. a DC 15 intelligence um, on the Gek oh, yeah. oh. but it's at disadvantage because it's next to the Hound. Yeah. Fifteen intelligence. Okay. With disadvantage. With disadvantage. Okay. So. So he got a four. Okay. So, yeah. Roll, roll your damage. Uh, Eleven psychic damage, and he takes minus one d four to the next saving throw. Okay. Um, which I hope will happen right now, because then the wolf or the hound attacks him. Okay. Uh, Twenty. 20 to hit? Yeah. And, oh, okay. Yeah, so that hits. And then the uh, saving throw is strength. DC 13 saving throw, so it's a normal minus. Minus oh, okay. D4. I will. You, you, you minus 3. Okay. I rolled it. Yeah, I got a 3. Okay, so he gets a total of 9 then. So, he, uh, so, so this, this wolf knocks him down. Dra halt drags his legs out from under him. And does 13 damage. Oh, wow. Okay. So the wolf did 13 damage, and your mind dart did a bunch. So he, that, yeah, he's, uh, he's looking pretty ragged. It's All right, kind and of, that's uh, my turn. it's kind of panting and, and, uh, scrambling around trying to get back up. I remember when we first, when I first picked this class, the ability, I'm going to change it. The hound. Oh. And then I, did some yeah. research. I was like, no, actually, this one's awesome. <laughs> yeah, when you combine <laughs> them together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Zoe's turn. Alrighty. Let's see. I'm gonna try to get rid of this guy once and for all. Not only that, get my spear back. Um, <laughs> get your spear back. <laughs> yeah, I like that spear. Okay, so. Yeah, him. Back. He's so selfish. <laughs> Shoot, I can just do first level Guiding Bolt. Okay. Guiding Bolt's a, a good spell. He's right there anyway. Okay, to hit... I got 14? That hit? Oh, no, that misses. Misses? Dang. Yeah. Okay, All you right. still have bonus actions and movement. Kind of stuck. Okay. All right. I tried! Should've got with a knife. <laughs> yeah, well, Guiding Bolt does a lot of damage when you hit. I know. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Uh, Voider B, uh, that's, or, I mean, two. So, can, Brant, can you roll your 10-sided die for him? See what he does. Roll the five, so nothing. Okay, he just sits there. And he's got to make a wisdom saving throw of 15. He got a 12. 
and Voider four. I got a four, so he does nothing. Oh, okay. And he he passed his saving throw, so he's not confused anymore. And now it's Ralph. Uh, you're you're being attacked by two Nullian X, and you're in bad shape. Yeah, on, I am. On a new round, so I think your cloak is working again. Cool. I'd like to do uh, infestation on the Nullian Act right in front of me. Okay, number two. Okay. What does he need? To, is that a, he's? I'm, I'm guessing he does a saving throw. Um. Uh, you cause cloud of mites, please another parasite to appear momentarily on one of the creatures you can see within range. The target must succeed on a constitution saving throw, or it takes uh, 1d6 poison damage and moves 5 feet in a random direction. And if the, it can move... What's the DC on that? Uh, constitution that? 14. Oh, okay. So, he got an 11, so he failed. Okay. Roll a d4 for the direction. 1 north, 2 south, 3 east, 4 west. This movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks, and if the direction is rolled is blocked, the target doesn't move. Oh, you're making him run away. Well, he he's got a he. Um, we got to roll a d4 for because he falls in a direction. He goes oh, in a certain falling. direction. Okay. Yeah. So I got a so, four. So is okay. That, so uh, that he moves west, so he goes over one spot to the west. Yeah, and there's another Nullian act right there. I suppose, but it's uh, it's uh, going to be a two d six on the spell's damage. Okay, go ahead and roll the damage. That's a six, so it's one. So six. Okay, six, and he's lying down on the ground. Uh, I also have a bonus action I'd like to do. Hungry jaws at the so Nolan Act number three. Uh, okay. Use hungry jaws on him. Okay. Um, once per short rest bonus action, you can make a bite attack. If it hits, you gain two temporary hit points. Oh, 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 I see. You're biting him. Okay. Yeah. R roll to hit with your bite attack. It's plus four. Oh, okay. Oh, plus so four. Do... Yeah. 1d6 plus one damage. Oh, okay. So if you rolled a nine plus four, that doesn't hit. Oh, well, so crashed with your bite attack. Boo. All right. <laughs> All right. And so I used Bentley it up. woke up. Hey. Finally. Yeah. He's like, "Hey, what's going on? There's a bunch of noise over there." <laughs> you think about it's only 18 oh, seconds that he hasn't, or 24 seconds he hasn't woke up. So yeah, yeah, not that <laughs> yeah. bad. He looks out here. He goes, "Hey, what's going on? What are all these Nolianx doing in here?" And he sees the one on the ground, and he's going to pull out his gun and shoot at it. <laughs> so the D and D rules say that it's at disadvantage when somebody's lying on the ground, but I would say at point blank range, probably not disadvantage. Yeah, I I, I think that's reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> so that's money in act number one. You think you'd have an advantage shooting down on somebody who would sling right in front of you. So the first <laughs> bullet missed. Uh. And the second, jeez, he missed twice. He got two really bad rolls. All right, go oh. back to bed. Go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He goes, blam, blam, and it's and then only an X rolling around on the ground, dodging the shot. <laughs> so he just... Inside, you guys, it's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> so he just started blasting. Yeah. All right, uh, the righteous. This guy. Uh, oh yeah, Brant, can you roll your your uh, ten sided die for him? Uh, he got a seven, so that's attack anybody within melee range. But there's nobody there, so he does nothing. Okay, and he has to do a Constitution saving throw. Or no, it's a Wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom saving throw, fifteen. Yep. Oh. He got 13, 15 total. He got, he made it, so he's not uh, confused anymore. Uh, that spell's lasted a long time, though. Yep. Well, it was against a lot of people, too. Yeah, so that was the end of his turn, so he can't do anything, but he's not confused nope. anymore. He's also Does he still... 
did we get my uh, cloud of daggers on him yet? That's what that square is. Yeah. So it, it, when as soon as it's oh, it's the it's guy to turn right now. So oh, yeah, okay. go ahead and go ahead and roll his uh, roll roll the damage. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the righteous. I got confused. Yeah. Sorry. And now we're at the Gekka Gek. Yeah. That was my fault. I apologize. And that Gekka Gek is, uh, is really hurt. He got knocked down by this hound, and when he gets back up, he's getting up into a cloud of daggers. Ah. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Where am I? It's 4d4. Okay, okay. sorry. Uh, so I got one... Uh, two, so that's three. Three is six. And three is nine total. Oh, okay. So close. Mm. It, it's, uh, it gets up into the cloud of daggers and it starts shrieking and, and uh, looking around trying to figure out how it can get out of there. And it uh, backs up. Let's see, and it's going to attack the hound. And it, can it attack the hound? Yeah. Ooh, natural 20. Uh, Jesus Christ. No puppy! <laughs> Not real. I don't care, he's still a puppy. All puppies <laughs> are good boys. Okay. Um, I mean, it's done pretty well. How, how many hit points does the hound have? Um, 37 plus oh. 4... 41. Okay, because his bite was a critical hit. So, let's see. I'm getting a lot of... You guys aren't getting any critical hits. I'm getting a ton of them. Give me your dice. I know. So, it, you take, uh, it takes 16 damage from the bite. And the claw... 20 to hit. It hits. And 7 damage from that claw another hit because that's more than 20 and another 11 damage is it still up yeah i think it's so 29 yeah yeah okay it stays where it's at and nolianak one is the one over by zoe i think it had tried to attack you and it missed and you tried to attack him and he missed so he's just, he's going to make a run for it. He's going to go here and attack Ralph. <laughs> he's, uh, he's eyeballing. Zoe gets an attack of opportunity. He's eyeball yeah, Zoe gets an attack of opportunity. Does a spiritual and your, weapon. And your spiritual weapon will say, can I guess it can have one too. So this Chodovir, right? And Chodovir. Well, no, it's still in his. No, range. it doesn't exit. Yeah. 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 Oh. But uh, but Zoe gets two. One for the or one for her spear or her dagger, and one for the. Depending gonna, on whether. I'll go ahead and use the dagger. Okay. Because he's still got my spear sticking out of him. Um. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna do the dagger plus two actually, because I have a regular okay. dagger plus the dagger plus two, and I okay. want rid of this thing. So, roll the hit. 27. Well, yeah, that definitely hits. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yes. And for the damage, ugh, no. nine. Okay. So you, you said you wanted to get rid of it? I'm Are sorry? You like, oh, you wanted to get rid of the dagger or are you just using it? Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to get rid okay. of the monster. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like you, I pull out my dagger. No, 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 no! I want you rid of the monster. <laughs> okay, I thought you were just leaving it in him. Like you can keep that. No, I mean because I I stuck him with the spear before, and then he turned around, so it's kind of still kind of sticking okay. out of him. I, I want my spear back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you stabbed him on the way, and I think I I mean the spiritual weapon is. Not, I mean I think for fun we can just let that one have a reaction too. But I don't think they would normally. It would normally have a reaction. But yeah, you can do. Okay, so I'm doing spiritual weapon again? Yeah, I rolled a hit with the spiritual weapon. Okay. It's kind of giving you Oh a yeah, range. 25. That's definitely a hit. Okay, roll the damage. And for damage, we've got 10. 
Yeah, he took a couple of big hits on his way up there to attack Brown. Okay, it uh, the, it starts crackling again on on the hands, the praying hands uh, that make up its face and its head, and uh, a beam of light shoots out towards Ralph. <clears throat> and this is it, still at disadvantage, right? You have you been hit? I don't think you've been hit for a while. Me? <laughs> so it, it, it misses. Great. That oh, that's the one that's lying on the ground. Yeah. And he was rolling around getting shot at by Bentley. Yeah. Then so he's covered in act, he's covered in bugs. He's going to get up and to make two slashing attacks at you. Fifteen that hits. Fuck. And the other one hits. Sorry, Ralph. Sixteen. You take sixteen damage from his knives. So is is Ralph still up? Ralph has is at zero. Ralph oh, is okay. officially at zero. Okay, Ralph is unconscious, lying on the ground. This episode is sponsored by Don Bertram's Celebrate Imagination. Don Bertram's Celebrate Imagination shop is dedicated to benefiting the arts and medicine program at Texas Children's Cancer Center. Up to 50% of his proceeds will support the program where artist Don Bertram's volunteers monthly. Don Bertram is a longtime friend of Clive and celebrates and continues to be inspired by his art. He uses that inspiration to help kids through the Texas Children's Cancer Center, and we couldn't be more thrilled to continue to work with him. There's a news feature video that shows Don working with the kids at Texas Children's Cancer Center and his artwork. Click the side banner at www.clivebarkercast.com to find links to the video and his Etsy shop where you can buy his prints, books, and support this wonderful program. If you like the character artwork for Jericho Squad, check out the art of Asya Yordanova. Shayla Sackinger of Bird Ninja Art. Jericho Squad intro composition, Cradle of Jersemet, provided by friend of the show, Ben Warren. Additional in-game music by Tabletop Audio. Do you remember what we were talking about before you dropped off. I've been hired to do a job. And that's exactly what I plan to do. I'm not a very patient man, Mr. Brooks. Listen, where am I? What do you want from me? I already just told you that. When am I gonna get started to eat? If you want to support us at the Barker Cast, a great way to do that and show us off is the Barker Cast Tee Public Store. We've got a Jericho Squad crew shirt. 
we've got uh, Cenobium, we've got uh, Marcus's pinhead design. There's all kinds of great designs and they're, and they're not just t-shirts either. So please go check it out, uh, get something and support us. Thanks. And uh, Nully in Act 2, or 3 here, let's see. He kind of moves over here and uh, uses his action to grab the the bag off of you. Oh, way to go, way to and go. And then he's going to go here. Shouldn't he get hit by the Cloud of Daggers first? Oh, yeah, he does take damage from the Cloud of Daggers first. Um, yeah, what was the damage you did? We could just use the same damage again, or if you want to roll it, roll it again, too, you can. Okay, 44. Yeah. Uh, 4, 3 is 7, plus another 4 is 11, plus 1, 12. Okay. He takes 12 damage, getting out of the cloud. He grabs the bag off of Ralph, and then he runs down here, through here. He's trying to go around the... the um, Spaces can he move? Yeah, that's as far as he can get. He's right in front of the shadow hound, and that's his turn. And now, Bustle does not wake up, <sighs> and it's Churdovir's turn. <clears throat> right. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to attack the Nullianak that's in front of Ralph. Which one is that? Number two. 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 Yeah. Well, two He's... and one can both attack Ralph. Okay, so Nullianak one doesn't have all his hit points, does he? Uh, right, it's been hurt before. All right. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, that one's hurt the most. I don't like to use necromancy, but I'm going to cast a necromancy cantrip. Um, it's going to be Toll of the right. Dead. Okay. So I point at one creature I see within range and the sound of a dolorous bell. Bong fills the air. The target must proceed on a wisdom saving throw or take 1d8 necrotic damage. If the target is missing any of its hit points, it takes 1d12 necrotic damage. Is this so, a Nully in Act 1 or 2? The number 1. Okay. I think it's probably 2d8 and 2d12 by now at 5th level. 14. Okay. So he, he got a 20. Okay. So I don't hit him? Uh, what is this? What happens on a on a um, if they save? The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take one d eight necrotic damage. Okay, so it sounds like nothing happens if he yep. if he succeeds. Okay, oh. so he 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 he, he uh, passed. Ah, okay, that's why I don't use necromancy. Darn. Well, it's mainly because they these guys have really high wisdom. Yeah. Are you moving or doing anything else? Um. I am getting the heck out of Dodge uh, okay. because those guys are probably going to try to attack me and I got 16 points. So, sorry, Ralph, you're on your own, buddy. Yeah. And let me move away because otherwise I'm going to be doing saving throws. So, I will go back here. I don't mean to hide under the table. I mean to be on top of the table. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, like right there. Okay. Okay. There. So those both of those guys get attacks of opportunity uh, against you for for running away. Okay. So they're both. Each one of them is going to make a uh, dagger attack. Yeah. Okay. He ran away so bravely. <laughs> he bravely ran away away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One I guess. Of them hits. I... <laughs> Twenty-four to hit. And the other one was nine to hit. So you got you take one one knife attack. Okay. So you take six damage. Okay. I got ten points. I'm sorry. I wish I had ten points. Right. Oh God. Okay. So we are on round four, and at the top of the round, it's Musette's turn. Oh. Okay, so uh, okay, cloud my cloud of daggers is done for right now. <laughs> yeah, well, um, it's just it's sitting I mean, there and it's kind of blocking yeah, it's their just, way. Uh, 
Well, I was just thinking uh, this uh, Gekka Gek and and what is this? An Olianak? I can't tell. Sorry. Are yeah, they on top of each other again? Is kind of standing on top of the corpse of the Gekka Gek. Oh, I didn't realize the Gekka Gek was dead. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. I, I think he's oh, dead, thanks. isn't he? No. Yeah. I, is he? I, so. I thought he was just kind of like barely hanging on. Barely, on yeah. Oh, that's right. He is still alive. Okay. Oh, okay. Guys, Lloyd and then Kaufman the just retweeted that we're playing our game. <laughs> Who did? That's awesome. Lloyd Kaufman. Oh, wow. He retweeted the Jericho Squad game time. Thank oh, you. that was nice. Wow. <laughs> um... So I want to just go ahead and move my cloud of dagger. Wait, hold the phone. Sorry, I have can to check move, something. Can, can you move it? I don't know if you can move it. I would I just probably just gets, like uh, let it go, and then I would cast it again because okay. I have like a crap ton of slots. Okay. Um, but if I do that, I don't think I'd be able to also cast. Yeah, no, that's too many things to cast. Okay, sorry. Uh, because I need to do. Uh, healing word. It's a bonus action, though. So, I guess I will just uh, acid splash the... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do action. Uh, acid splash. Uh, here, sorry. Let me read the thing. Okay. Hurl a bubble of acid. Choose one or two creatures you can see within range. And if you choose two, they must be within five feet of each other. So, I'm still gonna, you know... I'm going to throw this at the Gekka Gek and this Nolianac. Okay. Um, Without hitting target... the Shadowhound, I guess. Right. No, no, no Shadowhound. Uh, because I can only choose two. Okay. A target must succeed on Dexterity saving throw or take 1d6 acid damage, and it's Dexterity 14. Okay. And that'll probably be 2d6 at fifth level. Uh, yes, it says you read, yeah, at fifth level, 2d6. So, dexterity, he got a 17. The Gekka Boo. Gek. And the Noliac gets 16. Boo! Yeah, so they both, they both passed. Okay, and then, uh, real fast for my bonus action, I'm gonna cast a healing word, uh, to Ralph at uh, okay. fourth, at fourth level. All right. Oh man, that's my only slot, dude. Okay, you get four d four plus three. Thank you. So, one, one, three. So what is that? Five, and one is six plus three. Nine. You get nine. Okay. Ralph gets nine hit points, and he's back uh, conscious again, lying on the floor. Wondering where that bag went. <laughs> the hell with that bag. <laughs> yeah, that that got a lot of attention uh, for you. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Next is uh, Jonathan's turn. All right. First, uh, pound attack. Thirteen plus five, eighteen on the Gekka Gek. Yeah, it hits. Okay. Seven, ten damage. Okay, yeah, he's dead. Yay! Okay. He had so Hound's attack. gone now, because his target's dead. And okay. Jonathan proper is going to cast invisibility on himself, and so okay. this guy will no longer be confused. And then I'm going to take off after the dude that ran away with the bag. Oh, the, the voider won't be confused anymore? No, because I'm casting... Okay. In Invisibility, which is and and the guy with the bag is Nelly in Act Number Three that was next to your shadow hound. Well, yeah, that, I thought it was gonna be the hero. If you're not turning invisible, Voider Number Two is still. Uh, still yep, yep. Rob got it. Rob got it. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to mind sliver this guy. So okay. DC 17 intelligence saving throw, normal. That's not easy for them. Oh wow, he got a 20 18. He's minus two. Well, that's, that's I rolled a natural 20. Yeah. Um, and then this door's open still, correct? Yeah. Or the one by your room? 
Not my room, uh, Musette's room. I didn't bother to close All right. it. I'm gonna go hide behind her bed. <laughs> okay. Well, that's my room. Oh, your room? Okay, yeah. all right, Zoe. That's all, all right. Humans room. All Just... these humans look the same to me. <laughs> Even if you're not human. All right, so that's the end of Jonathan's turn, I'm guessing. Next is Zoe. All right. Um, Chertevere, what are your hit points right now? You're getting pretty low, aren't you? 10 points. Okay. Well, let me do this. Let me move over here by you. So let's do Cure Wounds on you. Thank you. Uh, it doesn't have any... So you have to move. Actually, up. I can stay there. It doesn't. It does. It just says. Uh, oh no! I have to. Be, I have to be able to touch him. So let me move over yeah. there. All right. Let me move over here. Turn around. Every now and then. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and do the cure wounds. And so the effect. It's fifteen. <laughs> Wow, you get 15 hit points back. Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah, 15 points back. Nice. Thank you. Okay, and um, as a bonus action, can I move my little uh, thingy over toward Mr. Worm Guy over here? Actually, it's I'm already, kitty cor- it, it, Yeah, it's already in the, I think. Uh, he He's like kitty corner to that, so. Yeah, it, he's... It's kind of weird. It looks like they're uh, they're not. A, yeah, you, it could attack him from right there. Yeah, please do. Okay. Um, Roll the hit. Working on it. Get on here. Perception. Roll the hit. Twenty-two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that definitely did. And for the damage, eight. Yeah, he had one hit point. So. Woohoo! <clears throat> Goodbye, Mr. Worm dead. Guy. Yeah. Told you not to wait. <laughs> so both of them are gone. <clears throat> All right, guys. Now we got to rush and get these uh, monsters away from Ralph. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. So um, that voider is dead. Voider number two is confused still. So, um, Brant, can you roll your 10 sided die for him? I got a six, which means he does nothing. Okay, and now he's going to make his wisdom saving throw. He has to get a 15, I think. He got a 14. <clears throat> so he's still, he's still confused. Number four is going to run over here. And he doesn't attack Ralph. He just kind of looks at him and he's trying to block Ralph from getting around the stairs. So then it's Ralph's turn. I have the one thing left over because I have no more spell slots. So I will use my Eldridge Blast. Who's this guy next to me? Uh, you have a Voider and two Nully next in front of you. Who's yeah. next to me, though? That Bentley? Oh, that's, that's sure. Bentley, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so I just want to yeah. do... I'll just do Eldridge Blast. Okay. The Nully and okay. are all pretty hurt. That Voider that's blocking your way is not hurt at all. Okay. Well, I guess... Let me go ahead and hit the Nully and Axe. Uh, the Nolanac okay. right in front of me. Uh, so I rolled a 22, and I'm going to use both my beams on uh, the Nolanac right in front of me. Okay. Yeah, roll the damage for both of those. That's eight. And then one. Fifteen? Fifteen. Okay. Okay, yeah, those two those, those two beams blast into him, uh, but he he's hurt, but he's still still up. Oh my god! Oh man! And now it's Bentley's turn, and he pulls out his sword. 
And he's I hope going he has to... better aim than with the gun. <laughs> yeah. He should. <laughs> so he's going to attack with his, make two attacks with his long sword against this one that's uh, right in front of Ralph. So that one hits and uh, hits 14 damage and nine damage. So 23. Uh, no, 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 two. Oh, he has exactly 23 hit points. Woohoo! Yeah, so he takes two big slashes and one of them cuts off the fingers on his head and uh, uh. He, he goes down. And so he's dead? Yeah. To, yeah. Bentley's going to try to make up for the time that he was out and he's going to do an action surge. I think, he, yeah, he, he's going to. So he gets another set of attacks and he's going to attack that Nolian Act number one in front of him with his sword. So 19 and even more. So he, he does two hits 22 damage to that one. So that one is dead. Woohoo! He should, says, I should have used the sword to start with. Yes. And uh, that's, uh, and Bentley, Bentley is going to run down in front of this warrior here. And that's the end of his turn. Okay, righteous are all dead. Gekagex are dead. Melianek 3 is going to run up the stairs. And he's going How's he going to get up the, the stairs? What's How's that? he going to get up the stairs past Ralph and Bentley? Yeah, he's not by Ralph and Bentley. He was right here. Oh, the stairs start here, not here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, everything I know has been a lie. <laughs> okay. so, yeah, been he, he goes to do up the stairs is... and, and uh, he's he's upstairs now with the bag with the Boston ball. No! Ah! Son of a gun. Down, 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 just know it's going to show up with there. eBay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Craigslist. <laughs> is that even a thing yet still? <laughs> Craigslist? I, I yeah. think it is still around, yeah. Wow. <laughs> And bustle. Does not Please wake, wake up. up. Oh gosh, darn it! And uh, oh, it's Chirurgir's turn. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm going to cast. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, third level Numa bullet. Okay. At Voider. The voider that's attacking uh, uh, Ralph and um, uh, Bentley. Okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and see. I roll to hit. I get a sixteen to hit. Oh uh, yeah, that uh, that hits. Okay. So it's going to take one d10 force damage. Let's see. And he's getting, aha, uh -huh, eleven damage. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you hurt him pretty badly. That one had not been hurt yet. He's oh, just cool. been standing in the corner confused the whole time. Can I move? I uh, would like to move my character yeah. to the center of the room. Yep. And let me go ahead and do that. Right there. Okay. Pancake did not wake up, and it's Musette's turn. Okay, so... I am going to position myself so on my next go around I can get out the get up the stairs okay oops damn it ah four and diagonal you can, can count as yeah. oh I think you've told yeah. me that before sorry yeah. um but I'm also while I'm while I'm headed out, just gonna go ahead and uh, stab this uh, confused guy. Uh, <laughs> Might as well. Yeah. Went in Rome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rolled a hit. Ah, uh, oh, wow. Flip flap. Uh, I got 14. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. No, I got 16. I lied. 
That that hits even more. <laughs> okay, I got sixteen. Uh, okay. so it's a one d four plus three. Okay, roll damage. Where's my four? Two five total. Okay, he's hurt. He's not dead, but he's hurt. I'll move five, ten, fifteen, and then I guess noticed the one I was watching with the bag was gone. And ask the room, did he go up the stairs? Yes, he went up the stairs. Okay, so 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and then I'll double move and chase the stairs, so another 50. Oh, okay. Up the stairs. Yeah, and he's just barely at the top of the stairs, I think. Can I can I see him right now? Yeah, and and at Rob, do, can you, stairs? we okay. have a map of the upstairs, I think, right? Right, Rob. Then if I can see him right now, um, I am going to instead of doing the double move, I'm going to cast hold person. Okay. At fourth level, so it's gonna wow. if they're humanoid. Uh, Nulling neck and then the um, confused voider. It's gonna be a 15 wisdom saving throw if they're affected. And I don't know if they are humanoid, okay. considered humanoid, but I'm gonna try it. F 15 sa wisdom? Yeah. Okay. 13. So he failed. So he's held. Which one? Uh, the Nolian Act. Okay. And then I cast it at fourth level, so I am I can target two creatures. Does so the other one two, is... Two that you can see? Yeah. But it's going to be the voider that's next to me. But now you're upstairs. So he's not next to you anymore. Well, the 50 got me right where I am there. And so if I'm not double moving, I'm only at the bottom of the stairs. So you're trying to look up the stairs at him and still see the other one at the bottom of the stairs? Well, I mean, it's a 15-foot stairway. I think if I could see the top, I could see the guy next to me, too. Uh, make a, yeah, make a perception check. I mean, how Is could he... I not? 23. Okay, yeah, you're able to do it. Okay, and so the voider has to do also uh, wisdom saving throw. Fifteen, or no, sixteen. Okay, so he's not held. Yeah. Okay, and the one upstairs is held. <laughs> he's important. <laughs> yeah. And okay. that's my turn. All right, uh, Zoe is next. Okay, so. Six. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get Ralph up a little bit more on this point here. So let us do. Let's do cure wounds on you. Twenty-three. Wow. Yay! Sweet. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. And let me see. And your spiritual weapon is still out. You can make it move and attack something. Um, let, let's move that here so it gets this dude that's okay. in their way. All right. So let's go on there to the section. So I rolled a 22 to hit, so definitely hits. Yeah, that hits. And for damage, seven. Yeah, that killed him. Yay! Yay! Oh, snap. Yeah. So voider number four, the confused one. He's he's hell. He's confused, but not hell. Uh, so Brent, he's not confused. Roll. He's not confused. That he's ends not. when I cast hold. Try to cast oh, hold first. Oh, I see. Okay, so he's yeah. not confused. No. So then in that case, 
he's going to attack the seat. And I'm, yeah. He is going to claw at you. And I will do a dodge. Okay. So is that you're imposing disadvantage? Yeah. Okay. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so that's, I am uh, a seven, seagull. That's seven, seven to hit, so he missed. You can dodge a void or you can dodge a ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, next is Ralph's turn. So this voider number four is dead in front of us? Yeah, yeah. that's one I killed. Okay. Yeah, we just have voider yeah, number Yeah, you can two. step over him if you want. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to come over here. It... Is this voider over here by Jonathan dead as well? No, no he's left. No. Oh, well then I'll just hit him with Elder's Blast. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh here it is. Uh, do I roll to hit for each beam? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you do. For each beam, I have to roll to hit. Okay. Yes. So my first beam is 19. That hits. Uh, my second beam is 18. Yeah, they both hit. Yay. And then... <clears throat> roll damage. And then I roll my damage. Which and each is one of them is one. 1d10 plus 3, right? 1d10 plus 3, correct. Right, yeah, okay. So the first one is 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 on the first beam. And then 4 on the second beam, both at yeah, the same he's, guy. He's dead. Woohoo! Yeah. Let's go out to this dude upstairs now. Yeah. Should and we wake up the others? <laughs> Next no, is Bentley. And he I think they've been awake this whole time waiting for this to end. Bentley doesn't really quite understand them. what's going on. They didn't want to pause their stream. Bentley <laughs> doesn't really understand what's going on with the bag and stuff, so he just says, hey, is everyone okay? What's going on? They stole, I, uh, Bentley thought they stole the dude's Boston Bull. We have to go. I yell, my, my bag, uh, my he, bag. Is he up the stairs? Yes. Okay. Confident librarian lost his stuff. Yeah. What's his sorry? <laughs> I didn't lose it. He just grabbed it and ran. So so Bentley runs up to the top of the stairs. And can so uh yeah. Are, are we just like following him now? Yeah, so no, well we're still in combat. Oh okay. okay. He's going to attack the Nullian Act that's held. So I guess he would have advantage, right? Mm-hmm. He's paralyzed. Yeah. So he'll make one attack with his sword. So that hits 15 damage. Nice. And another attack with his sword with advantage. Okay, he killed it. Oh, yay! Cool. Yeah. And he, he comes back. Combat is over. I think everything is dead, right? So he, he comes back down the stairs with the bag and he goes, is this what you're looking for? My bag! My Boston Bowl! Yes, thank you. Everybody just thinks Bentley's badass because he goes up there and kills it. They don't know it's paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> you walked up there and killed a million egg in one turn? <laughs> Yeah, didn't get back. Well, it was lot... the weirdest thing. It just stood there. Yeah. <laughs> Waited to die. <laughs> Waited at the top of the stairs and just stood yeah. there. Or was it a press only night? Yes. <laughs> it was, um, I had the weirdest dream last night that I was watching movies with you guys. It doesn't it's... sound weird. It seems like you were all there. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that. But uh, I, I, but then I woke up, and these guys had just teleported into our headquarters. So I think we might have been under some sort of sway. 
Well, when I was upstairs, the front door was bashed open, so I don't think they teleported. Oh, okay. So they know where we are now, and that's going to be a problem. Hopefully, um, this sent the right message that we're not to be messed with. Is everyone okay? So what's in that bag? What's the Boston the Bowl? The, the Boston Bowl, man. The Boston Bowl. What's it's, the Boston Bowl? You've seen me use it. <laughs> no, it's, I don't know if he the, has. I think oh, he used okay. it before Jonathan was even in the party. Oh, okay. Well, it's a prophetic device. It's an artifact that's been in my family for generations. And um, I can look into the future and find out what's going to happen when I use it. You can also use it as an eating receptacle. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that. Uh, that that's would be the, dishonoring my ancestors. That's but, the Boston uh, Market Bowl. Yes. Uh, whoops. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, it's it's kind of cryptic to use sometimes. It doesn't really tell you exactly what's going to happen. You just see kind of these flashes. And um, yeah, I've used it before. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. magic. Why do they want it? Maybe this is something they can use to release uh, their master from hell, I'm thinking. So you don't know? I don't know. I guess we could okay. use it and see what happens. I mean, I'm hungry. Well, so what time is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's about six six o'clock in the morning. Oh. Hey, I had to set my oh. alarm for six o'clock this morning. That's why Bentley's aim was for shit. Yeah, yeah, he was still wiping the crusty stuff out of his eyes. Yeah. He he would he did a lot better with his sword. Let's uh check up on those two guys, see if they're still alive. Uh he's gonna clean this place up. Yeah, see if they can oh, clean this place yeah. up. I'll go check on bustle and pancake. Yes, please. Hey, Chodavir, you want to haul all these bodies upstairs or get your unseen servant? I guess it's probably not strong enough. Honestly, uh, I think that bustle and pancakes. I think it smells in here. That's a good idea. I'm down to go for a walk. <laughs> or maybe See, not. I don't I know. Can... Can we be concerned that our that our place is compromised? Obviously. Right. Yeah. I mean, that is that is a problem. If they came in through the front door. That Dexter Handy fella. Um, I guess we are a little compromised. I guess we could have two options, right? I mean, we can either switch headquarters, which would be a huge headache. And I look at Bentley. Or we're really got to get to the bottom of this and take care, take these guys out. I don't think there's a way to reinforce this place. We probably should uh, figure out a way to relocate. <laughs> That's, well, that's funny, not, Rob. That's not easy. I approve. Cassie <laughs> has helped me build this place. I think I I don't know if I could uh, if I could uh, do this re you know if I could recreate this myself. Mm. Yeah, guys, I got breakfast. Uh, I don't want to eat a voider. Thank you. What, come, are you Here's sure? Back a gag that I cooked earlier. <laughs> oh, God. I did. It's all in my egg. room. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Uh, just letting you know, Jonathan, you're, room. you're not keeping those corpses in there for long. Well, if you help me eat them, they'll go faster. I no, <laughs> thank you. Hard pass. Uh, oh, did Jonathan haul all those in there? How, how did he do that? Pancake, Jonathan didn't. Piece by Pancake piece. And Bustle did. <laughs> yeah. Pancake and Bustle just woke up and stepped out of their room. We just moved him in there for fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we just we just did that, you know, okay. while we were just dragging them out while we were talking. Yeah, into okay. the bedroom. <laughs> uh, uh, Bentley, is there a place where we can dispose to... of these bodies? I mean, it's kind of silly, but technically, according to the rules, with my strength, I can grab them in there, drag them in there. But I think that's kind of silly. You, you an artifact of D&D, like encumbrance rules. I think they should go back to the Innovo. That's where they came from anyway, except for the Nullinex. Can, can we 
can we transport them into the Innovo with our, you know, magic circle thing? But uh, if we send yes. them back over there, they'll know they're dead. Can't we just, like, throw them in a hole in the back? Uh, it, what? Throw them in a hole in the back? What hole in the back? You'd call some friends. Dig <laughs> <laughs> <Big, big> a hole! <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> eating these corpses, Jonathan. Nobody's eating what? the corpses. No, okay, I, so... I go to here not eating the corpses. It's gross. Some and some other... so, so wait, yeah. why, uh, um, Ralph? Why why don't you want to send put the send them to the, the to the Innovo? Because then the Innovo will know that they're dead. Well, the Innovo is not a person. Yeah, it's just a, a weird place between dimensions. They can just ended up dumped there and the other you know creatures could you know finish them you know eat them and stuff it's kind of like the upside down in in stranger things so the yeah. so the novo the creatures in the novo can eat these corpses but not jonathan or i i if you want to dig into that cook gek a gek be my guest but uh we can't keep the corpses here because they'll stink up the place yeah so you know if you want to, if you guys want to go in the room and close the door and do your thing, <laughs> I'm okay oh, with it. that sounded wrong. Yeah, well. well. I'm taking the bus and pulling there with me while I do it. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> no. no, you're not. I snatch it from you and I'd be like, this is my family heirloom. I mean, show some respect. All right. Sure. <laughs> it can only be used for Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, oh, honey, my, honey nut Cheerios. My brother well, would then kill I me if he could hear us talking. Oh my <laughs> god. Well, I guess the first thing we have to do is uh, fix the door. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get to work on that. All right. But I think that uh, maybe we need to beef up the security a little bit. Uh, you think? <sighs> yeah. What do you have anything in the store that we could use to any magical items that we can like make our security stronger? Well, we went through the magic items that were right. here last time. Right. Right. Um. Well, I guess we need a new door, huh? Yeah, we'll need a new door, and I think we better get a magical door. Where do we get a magical door? Well, I think we'll have to create it or have someone help us create it. Hmm. Do you have any suggestions on who we should contact? Is he like in the Jericho squad? That's what I'm thinking. You know, unless you can do it. Um, I don't think I can do it. Maybe do I have to do some sort of check? Yeah, make an, make an Arcana check. Arcana check. Yes, sir. Oh, 13. Yeah, it, it's, uh, you might be able to do it with the help of, of some books from your library, but not, not right, not right now, not like here and now. All right, door quest. Yeah. <laughs> We're on a door quest. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I will definitely check that, but, uh, I think that's a pretty big priority because we can't have people just walking in here, um, unsecured. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and maybe we need to have watches. I don't know. This is this is the first time we've been invaded. Yeah. A <laughs> ring doorbell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have to set up who's going to do the watches then. I mean, I, I volunteer to do a shift, of course, but uh, who wants to go but, first? Okay, so the door is obviously... a huge priority so i think that chodevere needs to go to the library and possibly someone else go with him to the library to figure out the door situation while other people take the shifts of keeping watch while pancake and bustle clean i think that's a good and, idea uh bentley you need to make food because we're all hungry yeah no, no. So, you know, I, I did that at first to welcome you all to, to Jericho Squad, but it seems like you guys have just sort of taken for granted that I'm going to keep on making your breakfast all the time. I would okay, have do you on days we watch? save your life before breakfast. I think I just saved your lives. I killed three of these guys myself. Well, I don't know how to kill myself, huh? <laughs> 
Uh, we killed Fine, the I'll rest. make breakfast. Oh. No, 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 no. no. Okay, I'm, I'm making breakfast. Manly's, Manly's good. Okay, there I'm making breakfast. <laughs> okay. See, I knew I had the trump card. <laughs> I'll make breakfast. Okay, did Bentley, do you need help, or am I going to go keep watch? Uh, yeah, you can help if you want. That'd be great. It would go faster. I'll keep watch. So who okay, then who's going, who's going Jonathan? with Trudevere? Nah, I'm going to go upstairs. Jonathan, are you with me, buddy? Going to, to the library? Yeah, and if you could I try mean, not pooping on the I books, that'd be great. can go to the library. Uh, sure. Sounds good. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. <laughs> and please just just follow my lead and don't don't poop on anybody's head, okay? Uh, Bentley, can we use the? I did just eat gecko gex, so I can't promise anything. All right, all right, that's fair. Bentley, um, can I take the bike with a sidecar? Yeah, yeah, just a second. He goes and gets the keys and hands them to you. All right. I think I still know how to drive this thing. So yeah. um, I'm going to oh. ride in the sidecar and minor illusion, one of those little flying helmets and the goggles, goggles. And, and, a, and a scarf. And you got your little <laughs> wings open oh, and you're yeah, kind of no. like gliding. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally fly. It'd be just as fast, but yeah. Okay. All right. So guys, I will try to be quick. I will go to my Rethemek, um a okay. library and, and it, uh, is a, it is a couple hour drive just because it's you we're way on the outskirts of town and and the don't worry i'll, I'll keep them in trouble the opposite end of the you know also on the outskirts but the opposite end of town okay all right well i'll go to the library with uh, jonathan try to find out okay. information about how to create a magic door and maybe find out if i can find some spells in there and i'll i'll be right back and you've made the trip enough times now that you don't have to roll for driving anymore. Okay. And, so it, if yeah. it'll take a couple hours, can I take a short rest in the sidecar? Am I uh, able to sleep yeah. through the noise? Yeah, you can do a short rest. Okay. Do a short rest. And, and anybody voice. else that wants to just kind of rest, you know, rest, do a short rest while uh, Bentley's making breakfast, you can. Okay, but well, I mean, I'm helping you though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you might, you can't. I can skip breakfast. Oh wait, Maybe. and Zoe is supposed to be keeping watch. Oh, so Zoe's upstairs by the door. I should be. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we are getting close to the end here. So if you guys want, we could uh, we could stop it here. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, we could pick up the next the episode uh, with me in the library or whatever. Sure. Okay. Why not? In the library. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good. Um, everybody will kind of reconvene for breakfast. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks this everybody. Is... This this was fun. Thanks for coming. Yeah. It was it was hard to get it all to get it all scheduled, but we managed. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you have subscribed. You can find the Clive Barker podcast wherever you find audio. Show notes for this episode, as well as news and reviews, can be found at our website at www.clivebarkercast.com. The Clive Barker podcast, or BarkerCast, is an independent editorial podcast and blog that is not affiliated with or under contract by Clive Barker or Seraphim Inc. This is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. Watch for our annual Kickstarter fundraisers to get some cool stuff, and you can buy t-shirts on our TeePublic store. Go to TeePublic.com and search for BarkerCast. Thanks for listening.